the children i welcome you all to the math class so in today's class we are going to do the exercises from your math magic book okay so i request you all to get ready with your math magic book so children in today's class we will practice the exercises from chapter 8 how many times we have done many things from this chapter yes we have learned many things how to multiply how to multiply quickly yes how to group the things all these things we have already learned so only few parts are remain so in today's class we will get over with this chapter so children in today's class we will do page number 138 to 141 so i request you all to open page number 138 to 141 first we will see briefly what we are going to do in today's class then after we will proceed to our class slowly so children this is in page number 138 the there is practice time where you have to multiply the number and there are word problems we have learned in yesterday's class how we are going to multiply the number in short yes by dividing the multi uh, number and by adding it at last so in that process only we are going to do this practice time so the same thing is in the uh, page number 139 here also they have taught us to multiply the bigger number by dividing it so these are the examples how we are going to do it then after we will do the practice time okay children so let us proceed to our class and children page number 142 and 150 43 we are not going to do here okay so you can cross page number 142 and 143 so let us proceed to our class children this is in page number 138 where you can see the practice time is here 22 22 into 22 into 3 is there yes so what we will do we will divide 22 into 20 and 3 20 plus 3 and we will multiply thoroughly both the number with 3 because it's 22 into 3 so 23 is a 60 plus 3 is a 9 so we will get the answer 69 so in this manner you will do this one so 22 3 is a 69 Next, children, let us do twenty-one into four. Twenty-one into four. We know that we can divide twenty-one into twenty plus one, and we will multiply twenty-one into four plus one into four. So twenty plus four is eighty. Sorry, twenty into four is eighty. Plus one four is a four. So our answer of second is. 84 yes second number is 84 so in this way we will write here 84 we got 84 here now 11 into 5 we know that 11 5 is a 55 but here we have to do dividing the number 11 10 plus 1 into 5 into 5 <coughs> so 10 five is a 50 plus 1 five is a 5 so 50 plus 5 equals to 55 So the third number <coughs> we have got is fifty-five. Now twenty into four. In the same manner we will do, children. Twenty into four. Twenty into four. We will get eighty. Yes, I have done three sums for you already. So twenty-six into four. Let us try twenty-six into four. Twenty-six. We will divide it. Twenty plus six into four into four. So four a twenty is a Eighty six four two ah uh, six four za sorry here I yes six four za twenty four so that will be hundred and four when you add eighty plus twenty four that will be hundred and four okay children so in the same manner we will do next one twenty five into three. So twenty-five. How you will divide twenty-five? Twenty plus five. After that, what you will do? You are going to multiply 
Both the numbers with 3, so 23 is a 60 plus 5, 3 is a 15. So that will be 60 plus 15 equals to 75. So what you will write here? You will write 75. Okay, children. Let us do 435 into 3. <coughs> 35 into 3. So 35, how you will divide? 30 plus 5. Yes. Into 3 into 3. 33 is a 90. 5 3 is a 15. So when you add it, your answer will be 105. So you will write the answer 105. In the same manner, if you do 32 into 5, you will get the answer 160. Okay, children. So I have done this column for you. You will do all this column okay, as your home assignment. This is your home assignment. Now children, number B first guess the answer and then calculate. So a flower has 5 petals. A bunch of flower has 13, 13 flowers. How many petals are there? Petals means you know children, this part is known as petals. Let me color it in different color. So a flower has 5 petals. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this part, this colored part of flowers are called petals. Okay. So I hope you understand the meaning of petals. So now let us move to the question. So a flower is having 5 petals. There are 13 bunch. A flower has 13. A bunch has 13 flowers. So you have to, what you have to do? You have to multiply 13 into 5. So in the same manner we will multiply. We will divide 13 into 10 plus 3 then after we will multiply thoroughly with 5 yes so 50 plus 15 that is equals to how much you will write 65 petals the answer is 65 petals okay so next a book has 64 pages what will be the total number of pages in each book so what you will do you will multiply 64 into 8 okay in the same manner we will multiply 64 into 8 what you will do you will divide 64 in, into 60 plus 4 and you will divide you will multiply it with 8 yes because we have to multiply uh, there are 8 such books so 60 plus uh, 60 into 8 0 6 8 are 48 480 and 8 4 are 32 so when you add it, it will be 0 plus 2, 2, 8 plus 3, 11, and 5 plus 1, 512. So 64 plus 8 is 512 pages. 512 pages you will write. Now next, students stand in rows in the assembly. There are 6 rows of students. So each row has 17 students. So what you will do here? You will just multiply 16 with 17. Whatever answer you will get, you will find the total number of students. So the multiplication part, you will do it by your own because I have done many, many sums for you. Now children, the last one will be a home assignment. A design has three flowers in it. A piece of cloth has 17 such designs. How many flowers will be on the cloth? So this thing, you will do it by yourself, okay? Now children, how many in 23 dozen? So here, one dozen of banana, you know that it's a one dozen of banana means 12 bananas. Yes, so how many in 23 dozen means you have to multiply 23 by 12. Yes, so you can divide 20 into 20 into 3 and 12 is also two digit number here at first we were multiplying with a single digit number only but here you have to multiply with two digit number to two digit number otherwise three digit number so you are dividing the number into 20 into 3 10 and 2 then after you will multiply see here 10 into 20 is a 200 10 into 3 is a 30 2 into 20 is a 40 2 into 3 is a 6 after that you will add all Yes, 200 plus 40 plus 30 plus 6, then you will get the answer 276. Okay, so you can do the multiplying 40 into 13. Yes, so 40 
43 into 13 that will be 40 into 3 multiplied by 10 into 3 so in this number you in this way you will multiply the bigger number also now practice time let us do one we will do the first three in the class children and the last three will be your homework this last multiplication pattern also will be a homework okay so the first question is 42 into 23 42 into 23 yes so you can make a box So here you can write 40 plus 2, yes, after that here you can, okay, we, we will write this 40 plus 2 outside, 40 plus 2 and here we will write 20 plus 3. So 40 plus 2 is 800, yes, 20 plus 2 is 40, 40 plus 2. 40 sorry 20 into 40 equals to 800 20 into 2 is 40 40 into 3 is 120 3 to the 6 so you all you have to add everything 800 800 plus 40 plus 120 plus 6 now after adding we will get the answer 0 plus 0 plus 0 6 4 plus 2 6 1 8 plus 1 9 so our answer is 966 our answer here you will write 966 okay now the same method in the same method we will do for 51 into 13 51 into 13 so let us make, make a box 50 plus 1, 10 plus 3. So 10, 50 is a 500, 10, 1 is a 10, 5, 3, 50 is a 150, and 3, 1 is a 3. Now if you add it, how much you will get? 500 plus 150 plus 10 plus 3. So 3, 6, and 6. So the answer you got is 663. So this is quite easier method, children. 630. Okay, next 25 into 36. Let us do 25 into 36. 25 into 36. So here it will be 20 plus, sorry, 20 plus 5, yes, 30 plus 6. So 23 is a 600, 35 is a 150, 620 is a 120, 65 is a 30. Now you have to add all these four numbers. So let me add it here. 600 plus 150 plus 120 plus 30. So that will be 0. 5 plus 5, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our answer will be 900. So hope children, whatever we have done is clear to you all. This will be a home assignment. So here you can see multiplication pattern. Where you can see 9 ones are 9, yes, 9 twos are 18. There is a table of 9, you can directly write. Then after here, you can see there is given 1 plus 8, 9, 2 plus 7, 9, 3 plus 6, 9, 5 plus 4, 9. So in the next, you can write 9, 6 are 54. So this 5 and 4, next number, if you add this 5, 54, 5 and 4, you will again get 9. 9 7 is a 63 again if you add this 6 and 3 you will get 9 so if you add 9 8 is 72 if you add this 7 and 9 7 and 2 you will get 9 yes so did you see that the multiple pattern in the 9 times table if you write adding it you will get 9 only so hope children whatever we have done in today's class is clear to you all I will see you in the next class with another chapter. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you everyone.